And here we are at um, the Chem 21 site again, this time for experiment 8, all right, the titration of vinegar. Now I have uh, gone ahead, like I did before, and entered in some random, well maybe not so random, but uh, some approximate data from my head, and uh, I will be using that for an example, okay? So, enter in all of this stuff and skip the part that says enter later. And then down at the bottom, I click on continue. Okay. So then I, uh, I go through and look at it, verify that everything is according to my sheet, and click confirm. Okay. If not, of course, I would click re enter data. Now, um, once you do that, um, we should be able to, uh, well I guess I can just click here for the next problem and it will take me down to where I need to go, which is to find the density of the vinegar. Okay, so that's why we measured, remember when we measured the, the weight of, or the mass of the flask plus the vinegar? So this gives us this difference, the difference between these two gives us the mass of the vinegar, and here's its volume, 25.00, um, and so I can take these two values and subtract them, okay? So I'm going to switch over to um, Excel, and let me get a fresh sheet here, okay, so I have 88.2251 okay and um, 113.2650 okay alright so now if I take the difference between those I get 25.0399 and I'm going to uh, to to uh, take this and divide it by my 25.00, or just the 25. Okay, so that gives me 1.0016. Um, all right. Now, chances are yours is going to be somewhat different than that. I'm not sure what the actual density is uh, for the vinegar but uh, probably slightly higher than that. Um, let's see, if I rounded that, now it's, uh, it should take anything um, within the third significant figure, so I should be fine with that. Okay, so calculation correct. Very good, let's go on. All right, now it's asking for the volume of the base used. Okay, so here, just like before, we're just going to subtract these and um, 52.82 in my case submit and do the next one um, and this one of course uh, when you're just subtracting zero you have a little chance for error there all right all right, so I did want to point out that um, what you need to do if you um, used the uh, 15 milliliter portion, um, let's say you had 33.41 uh, milliliters that you used um, for the 15 milliliters. Um, I modified the uh, procedure a little bit and some of you may have uh, followed that modification. If you did, what, you're, what you need to do just to keep Chem 21 happy is let's just trick it and scale this up to what it would be um, if we had done it with 25, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that 33, um, whatever volume you uh, measured with the 15 milliliters, multiply it by 25, divided by 15, all right? And then um, that will be the volume that you would enter into Chem 21. So you see that's my 
55.68, that's what I would put in, um, in for this value. Because it's expecting it for 25 milliliters, not 15. So that'll keep it happy. Just do that one little, um, little change. Multiply by 25, divide by 15. Okay? Now, um, we want to find the molarity of the 25 milliliters of the diluted vinegar solution. So we want the molarity of the diluted vinegar solution. That's where, um, where we, what we get from the titration, because we titrated the diluted solution. Okay, so uh, we get that molarity from the uh, volume of the sodium hydroxide used and the molarity of the sodium hydroxide. This part comes from experiment seven. All right, so we have the molarity. Let me just put that here, the molarity. And we have um, the volume, okay? Um, looking here, I have 52.82 milliliters, okay? So, and what I want is to take this molarity and um, it helps if I write this out instead of saying molarity or just 0 0.1001 molar NaOH. Let's spe specify that this is moles of NaOH per liter of the uh, solution. Okay, so now that I know it's moles per liter, I can um, multiply by my volume, 52.82 and again, um, this would be milliliters, but um, the milliliters won't cancel directly. So what I'm going to do is, uh, and I can just put this over one if uh, you want to see something there, but there are a thousand milliliters to one liter. Okay, so I can write this um, like that, and now you see my milliliters will cancel um, and I'll have liters and the liters will cancel there and what I end up with after I cancel all of those is moles. Okay, So that's my moles of sodium hydroxide but what am I looking for? I'm looking for the molarity of the vinegar solution that I titrated. Okay, so this is moles of sodium hydroxide. I need to do a little bit more with this. I need to um, take that moles of sodium hydroxide and first of all recognize that it's one to one um, with my moles of, uh, of the vinegar because vinegar is uh, C2H3O2, HC2H3O2, and that forms a one-to-one -one mole ratio, okay? Um, if you write the balanced equation between these, it'll be one-to-one. -one. All right, so now that we have that, uh, it's moles of acetic acid, or vinegar, um, and I need to divide by the volume of the vinegar solution that I used, which was what? Well, that's where I had my 25 um, milliliters, okay, at four significant figures. Okay, so this is what your uh, calculation will look like, and um, again, milliliters, I need to show that in, uh, in liters. So what I will do is the uh, same thing as I did before, 1,000 milliliters to one liter. Okay. And now uh, the milliliters will cancel 
and over here uh, my moles of sodium hydroxide will cancel and then what I'm left with will be moles of vinegar or over liters so that is my molarity of the um, the diluted vinegar solution and I could specify that here if I wanted to M mill uh, this would be liters of the diluted uh, vinegar.